Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and get started on our dishcloth. I'm going to be using Ricochet Dishy in the colorway Jalapeno for this sample. If you're curious for the other um, colors that I used for these other dishcloths, um, this one is in the colorway Sunbaked. And I absolutely love it. And then I'm also working on a white one um, right now to kind of complete this set. I'm going for like a very fall look, if you can't tell. And this is the colorway Swan. So really fun little selection of colors and i will link this yarn down below as well as all of the other materials that i'm going to be using today um any cotton yarn any worst way cotton yarn will work and then we're also going to be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and i will link these down below these are the Nando's pride zing crochet hooks i absolutely love them um and i have a discount code as well so all of that will be linked down below we're going to go ahead and get started with our dishcloth by creating a slip knot and then we're going to place that on our hook and chain 30. Now, following a pattern exactly, we're going to have a, about an 8 by 8 inch dishcloth. Um, if you want it to be smaller or larger, that's totally fine. You can just chain any multiple of 3. Um, but like I said, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be following the pattern and it says to chain 30. So, we're just going to yarn over and pull through this loop. And we're going to do that for a total of 30 times. Alrighty, there is my chain of 30. For row 1, we are going to work a half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So we're going to skip this very first chain. We're going to work a half double crochet into the second. And then we're going to work a double crochet into that same stitch. So yarn over and work a double crochet into that very same chain. And then we're going to start our repeat. We are going to skip the next two chains. So skip this stitch, skip the next stitch, and then work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet all into this same chain. So there's our single. We're going to work a half double crochet, pull through all three loops, and then work a double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way across, skip two chains, and then work a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet into that third stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way down until we have one stitch remaining. So again, skip two chains, then into that third stitch, work a single, half, and double crochet stitch. All into that same space. <laughs> one stitch remaining and into that very last chain we are just going to work one single crochet and then that will be at the end of row one so the start of row two is going to be the beginning of our repeat we're going to just repeat row two um, for the entirety of our dishcloth that's going to be 19 rows for me and that's what's listed in the pattern um, if you decided to adjust the size or the the width of your dishcloth you can simply crochet until your um, dishcloth is either as big as you want it to be or square which is what i typically go for um for crochet dishcloths so to begin row two we're going to chain one and turn into this very first stitch we're going to work a half double crochet and a double crochet and then we're going to skip two stitches and work a single half and double crochet all into that third stitch so there's my half and there is my double and we're going to repeat that all the way across until we have two stitches remaining. So again, skip two stitches and then work a single crochet, a half double crochet, half double crochet, and then a double crochet all into that third stitch. And like I said, we're going to do that same thing all the way across until we have two stitches remaining. <laughs> two stitches remaining to finish off row two we are just going to skip this next stitch 
and then work a single crochet into that very last stitch. And there we go. That's the end of row two. And then like I said, we're just going to repeat row two until our dishcloth is either 19 rows tall or as tall as we want it to be. Um, again, I like to make mine into a square, so I'm going to work 19 total rows, but you can do whatever number you prefer. And we're just going to repeat row two. So I'm going to go work until I have reached 19 rows, and then I will meet you back here to show you how to work the border to finish off our dishcloth. Alrighty, I just finished row 19 and I'm ready to work the border. It's super simple, we're just going to be working one round of single crochet all the way around our dishcloth. Um, this is totally optional, I just like the way that it looks. It kind of um, brings the entire piece together and finishes off these edges nicely. So we're going to pick right up where we left off on row 19. We're going to tone our work a little bit and work an extra stitch into this last um, stitch that we worked into to round off that corner. And then we are going to single crochet evenly down each side of our dishcloth. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. Um, I like working about three stitches per two rows. Um, but ideally you just want to single crochet evenly so that you don't have any bunchy, um, bunchiness, if, if, if that's a technical term, <laughs> um, created by working too few stitches or weigh the edges by working too many. I also recommend aiming to place the same amount of single crochet stitches around each side. So all we're going to do is start single crocheting down this first side of the dishcloth. Um, like I said, roughly three stitches per two rows, um, but whatever helps your dishcloth lie flat is totally fine. And then we are also going to place three stitches in each corner. Um, so that those can be rounded off nicely. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to keep working all the way around this dishcloth just like so until I get back to this first corner to finish it off. I just finished single crocheting around my dishcloth and now all I'm going to do to finish it off is just slip stitch to this very first stitch right here. Insert your hook and pull up a loop and then just pull through that second loop on your hook. And there's your slip stitch. And then we can just cut our ends, leaving just a little bit of a tail to weave in. And then once we weave in those ends, our dishcloth will be finished. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this super fine dishcloth. I hope you found this tutorial fun and encouraging to follow along with it and that you learned something new through it. Like I mentioned throughout the video, be sure to check out all of the links in the description box below. You can find the pattern that I used in this tutorial, as well as all of the materials and details about them. And then, of course, my social media platforms and pattern shops as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy making. Bye!